Hi Jim, welcome to the next Multiga release video. So we're sitting here at the base of Table Mountain overlooking the uh, city of Cape Town, this city bowl. And this release we're going to talk about uh, the latest one that we've got. It's called Multigo Chlorine. And there's basically three big things that we've put into it. So the first is the Transform Hub that I'll talk about now. Uh, then we've updated uh, Multigo to use now Java 7 and 8, so we no longer support 6. And we'll look at the new context menu and the new way that we've uh, designed it that's hopefully better and easier to use. Okay, so the first thing when you open the tool is you'll see that on the right hand side there's a whole bunch of now uh, in a transform hub, a whole bunch of different transform sets that you can install into Multigo. So you can see here if you hover over them it tells you a little bit about them. There's our default Perturbo one, uh, there's the movie database, the Drilloff Bolt and the recorded future one that we've got as well. So there's really two kinds. Uh, there's a free one here that Drilloff's Bolt. So if I click on details uh, for the tool then I can see a little bit about it and where it's from. Um, and if I go and look at something like the recorded future ones, uh, which are ones that maybe have a registration page uh, or something that you need to do, then I can see that the different contact details are there and the sites that I might need to go to to fill in that information. So if I need to discover these transforms, so we've tried to make it as easy as possible so that people who are developing transforms can really add their sets to the, to the transform hub and then have those transforms uh, available to all Multigo users. So we're going to install the movie database one. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hover over it. I can see the details. I'm going to go and click install. It's going to ask me, do I want to install it? I'm going to say yes. Then it's going to automatically go and pull down the seed, uh, fetch the entities and all the other information that it will need about it. And you'll see that I only really had to say yes and then everything will happen automatically. So there you can see it's discovered transforms, a bunch of entities. And if I say finish, that will now say that it's installed. Uh, so if I start a new graph, then I'll see at the bottom of my palette, I can see that there's now movie database entities that I can use. So if I want to use them in the tool, uh, I'm just going to start with a phrase. Okay, so there's a phrase, drag it into the graph. I'm going to change this to some movie. So I'm going to use the movie bottle rocket. And there, when I right click on the, on the entity, I can see the new context menu that I'll get into now and the various transforms available. So one of them is search for movie, which I'm gonna run now. And that is gonna run, and it's gonna go and query that. Here you'll see that one of the new features of the transform hub as well is that a bunch of these transforms require things like API keys, and that's been implemented into the tool here. So it says, do you want to enter the API key? I'm gonna say yes, I'm just gonna enter the key one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to say OK. And now that key will be active for all the transforms that are available in that set. So now if I try to run that transform again, search for movie, you will see that I can get So now that I run, run that transform search for movie, you'll see that I get the two different bottle rocket movies out. Uh, this is the one I'm interested in. And I can do things like say movie to director. And that will then pull out the director. And I can then go and say, okay, well show me all the other movies that he's got. Okay, and then I can say from these movies, maybe show me all the actors or the talents in the movies and they will then come out uh, from each movie. And of course, the normal thing's still available in the tool. So if I switch to something like Bubble View, I can see the actors in the Wes Anderson movies that are uh, in a whole bunch of them. So there you can see Bill Murray, Owen Wilson uh, in a, many of Wes Anderson's films. Uh, so it's a nice way to use the tool uh, for something like this. So if I, one of the new features and something that's actually been irritating us for a while is that if you've got quite a large graph, and you've got a selection of entities selected, then previously when you had to run a transform on them, you'd have to zoom into one of them and right click on the entity. Now with our new context menu, if you've got any entity selected, you can right click anywhere and you'll be able to run uh, the various transforms. Okay, so talking about the new uh, context menus, if I do something that we've done a lot, something like a footprint, when I right click on an entity, you'll see that it is separated 
by default into the sets. So it looks something like this. And when I go over a set, I can say, say DNS for domain, and I'll have the various options that are normally available. One of the nice things is that if I had to drag in another domain after this one finishes running, right, and I right click again, you'll see that it's, it's at the same place that it was previously. So that's really nice if I'm doing the same task over and over again on numerous different uh, entities, I can always have it in the same place. If you do want to go back in the menu, I can either click on this button over here, okay, or if I'm in one of the menus, I can simply right click anywhere in the menu and it will take me back uh, to the base menu. So this separates it a lot easier so that you don't have multiple screens of transforms that you can run. Um, and you can see that there's a little scroll bar here at the side. Also on, on the new context menus, you'll see that at the bottom, we've now added uh, some quick links for things like copy to new graph. Um, as well as uh, some other things that we've used fairly often within the tool. Uh, so that's really nice, and we hope the new context menus makes it a little bit more efficient to use the tool and uh, something that we've been working on for a while. So we look forward to some, some good feedback on that. Additionally, just something that I'm going to run, if you're running machines, so I'm going to do the Wikipedia edits machine that we've run previously. If I say uh, that I want to run a machine, if I select an entity, you'll see here in the run view, the bottom left I can select a different kind of machine to run and I can say find Wikipedia edits over here and I can just hit play on that and then it will run and you can see the drop down there telling me what's happening on the machine so that's a nice way to also visualize running machines uh, within the tool so I'm just going to stop that machine uh, as you've seen it before and then the last thing in the tool is that we're now uh, supporting Java 8 and uh, you'll notice my version over here, so if I go to the options menu within Multigo and I hit Java options, you'll see that I'm running uh, it within Java 8. So it's taken away a lot of the, the finicky bugs that we had in Java 6, um, with, especially with the Mac release. So hopefully that will be a lot more of a streamlined release for those users uh, who have had that problem before.